The practice of ganshi or corpse driving is a part of witchcraft culture in South China. It's also known as yiling. During the Qing Dynasty, rumors of corpse drivers were widespread in Western Hunan, where they would use secret techniques to bring the bodies of people who died away from home back to their homelands for proper burial. Western Hunan is a mountainous region with rugged roads. The tradition of corpse driving has ancient roots, possibly related to ancient priests. According to legend, thousands of years ago, after a battle led by a warrior named Shi Yu, the battlefield was covered with bodies. Shi Yu wanted to ensure that his fallen soldiers could return to their homeland. So he and his military advisor disguised themselves and used magical incantations to retrieve the fallen soldiers' spirits and guide them home. During the Mid Qing Dynasty, the practice of corpse driving emerged as a way to transport the bodies of deceased immigrants from Sichuan back to their hometowns in Hunan. Initially, the bodies were transported by water, but the treacherous waters of the Three Gorges posed a significant risk, leading to the development of this profession. Corpse drivers, also known as Gan Shi Jiang, were typically Taoist priests dressed in black. They would lead a procession of bodies with an alive person known as the corpse driver in front. The corpse driver wore specific clothing and carried a copper gong to alert people during their journey. The bodies were often tied together with ropes, and their heads covered with tall hats and yellow paper inscribed with symbols. There were mysterious corpse hotels along the way, where only corpse drivers and the deceased would stay. The bodies would be neatly placed behind closed doors, ready for the continuation of the journey next day. Before reaching their destination, the family of the deceased would be informed to prepare clothing and coffins. When the corpse drivers arrived, they would immediately dress the deceased in their funeral attire and place them in the coffin. The process was conducted in strict secrecy, away from the eyes of outsiders. The types of bodies that could be transported were classified into three to transport and three not to transport types. Those executed by decapitation, hanged or strangled, or those who died standing up can be transported. However, those who died of illness took their own lives by hanging or had their limbs burned by lightning could not be transported. To become a corpse driver, one needed to meet specific criteria. They had to be at least 16 years old, at least 1.7 meters tall, and interestingly, have a less attractive appearance. Applicants were required to be able to face the sun directly, then rotate and suddenly stop, and immediately identify the cardinal directions. If they couldn't distinguish the directions, they were not accepted. Secondly, the corpse driver would ask you to search for things and carry loads, because the bodies couldn't climb steep hills, so corpse drivers had to carry them up one by one. Finally, 
The last test before you can pass the interview, the corpse driver would place a copper tree leaf on a grave in the deep mountains during the night and require you to retrieve it alone.